What is up, guys? Welcome to another edition of Market Marauders. We in the market one trade at a time. The Market Marauders Investment Channel helps you find the best deals in the market. If that's something you're interested in, make sure that thumbs up. Definitely helps the YouTube algorithm promote the videos. All right, so today I'll be going over uh, my synopsis of ChargePoint, uh, which is an EV charging company that has stations just basically everywhere throughout the U.S. Uh, so let's jump into it. First things first, I do have a new channel called The Market Marauder Show, so make sure you go add it for all your top penny stocks, uh, penny stocks under a dollar news. So I know that's a series that people like, um, so going to be putting that on the new channel. So let's jump into uh, ChargePoint. So first of all, uh, talk about some background information on ChargePoint. Uh, so ChargePoint is going to be going through a merger. So it's going to be merging... Uh, with this company called Switchback Energy, which is ticker sign SBE, uh, which is a special purpose acquisition company, or SPAC as they call them, uh, shell corporation designed to take uh, companies public without going through the initial uh, or traditional IPO process. So SBE uh, has also tripled since announcing this merger of ChargePoint, um, and for good reason in my opinion, because um, ChargePoint, I think, is a fantastic company. Uh, one of my favorite ones uh, to watch and definitely a merger that I'm very excited about. Um, so, as we know, President Biden has been elected uh, and sworn in already. Um, so, one of the major campaign things was renewable energy. So, I think that's going to be um, on target. So, I think a company like ChargePoint will definitely be able to expand um, its capabilities in the U.S. as well as other countries. And I think it's a perfect time for them to do so. So that's why I had this ticker right here, which is SBE, which will soon become the charge point um, ticker. Now, um, that merger, I don't think has a date yet, but um, people are looking forward to it, people like myself. Uh, but at the time of this video, uh, SBE is bearish. Moving average 10 is below 50 and 100, which is this purple uh, and yellow line. So moving average 10 is this red line, is below 50 and 100. So it is bearish at the time of the video. And VWAP, which is this lime green line, is below moon average 10. So bearish on both metrics. But I think that will uh, end here pretty soon once uh, there's more confirmation of this merger uh, between uh, Switchback Energy and um, ChargePoint. Now, going into ChargePoint, uh, this is one of their press releases that came out the 12th of January. So it says, today ChargePoint introduced the latest edition of its charging forward report. Uh, electrification is the way forward for every fleet. Uh, the next in a series of interactive uh, vertical focused analysts uh, with the latest edition focusing on shift fleets around the world are making to electric. Uh, so they're basically saying that as time goes on, more people are going to go to electric vehicles, uh, which I do believe to be true. And they're saying EVs are expected to double by 2023, which I also agree as well. Uh, so ChargePoint being one of the companies that provides the charging station for EVs, um, I think, you know, they're definitely ahead of their time when it comes to this. Uh, another company you may be familiar with is Blink Charging, uh, which has stations uh, around, and then Tesla has its own uh, charging network as well. So it's kind of the beginning stages of EVs, but if you see companies like, you know, GM and Ford starting to jump into the uh, EV charging space, uh, I mean the EV space, they're all going to need places to charge. So it's not just going to be the Tesla charging stations that are needed. It's going to be charging in general. So, um, you know, I think the space is uh, a ripe for a company like ChargePoint to go public and to expand their network, uh, even though they already have a very large network of charging stations, uh, just to continue to grow that um, as time goes on. Now, uh, on the 17th, they released this article, uh, which basically says, ChargePoint announces uh, integration with Apple CarPlay, uh, revolutionizing driver experience as EV adoption accelerates. Um, so I think that's a pretty cool thing as well. Uh, so it says ChargePoint, one of the world's largest EV uh, or electric vehicle charging networks, now works with Apple CarPlay, uh, taking another step towards making the transition to electric mobility more seamless for drivers. Uh, the integration brings essential EV charging data inside the vehicle, allowing drivers um, to easily access charging information directly from the vehicle infotainment system. Uh, it says, beginning today, drivers will be able to find nearby chargers, uh, check stations, uh, start a session, navigate 
uh, to a station and more with the pick without picking up their phone while in transit. So I think it's uh, pretty cool that they have this capability. Um, I'm definitely going to be looking for this to be something standard uh, in most cars moving forward. So um, if that doesn't solidify the fact that ChargePoint is already, uh, you know, out there, is already making uh, ways, it's integrated into your car infotainment center. So um, I think that's a, a huge step forward for the company um, and definitely going to be um, helpful when people are getting used to EVs because it's a lot different than going uh, and getting a car that's not an EV. So um, gas stations for regular uh, gas cars or petrol powered cars are everywhere basically you know you don't really have to plan out a route but when you get an electric car that's something that you have to do you kind of have to plan your trip to see where can i charge my car up uh if you do not have the um place already memorized or if it's a route that you normally don't take uh so next one to go into some of the charging stations that they have so for ac charging they have the ct4000 uh, which is their level two charging station. Then they have the CPF50. Uh, so these are both of their AC charging solutions. Um, it tells you what they're basically for. So it says ideal, the CT4000 uh, is ideal, fit for property owners, businesses, uh, municipalities, interested in EV charging solution for employees, customers, and residents. It provides a complete set of capabil capabilities. Uh, station owners need to manage every aspect of the driving experience. Um, then the CPF50 is ideal suited for fleet charging. So if you have a bunch of EVs, like you run a taxi service, um, and you have a bunch of EVs through the taxi service, uh, similar nature to that. Next, they have their DC fast charging stations. Uh, so this Express 2500 uh, is ideal uh, for businesses near interstates and major roadways uh, to provide EV drivers with quick turnaround charging. Um, Express 2500 or 250 um, stations can also be used uh, to complement the CT4000 uh, stations at workplaces, giving employees a fast way to top off or top up um, when needed. Then they have the Express Plus, which is another DC charging solution, uh, which is the Express Plus is a future proof, ultra fast DC charging platform, uh, which grows demand. Uh, that grows with demand and accommodates the battery technologies of today's and tomorrow's EVs. Uh, the modular scalability or scalable architecture allows up to four power blocks uh, to serve each station uh, and sends up to 500 kilowatts uh, to a single vehicle. So uh, these different four, these four different uh, solutions, I think, are, are very good overall, and I think could definitely help the company uh, moving forward. Um, and definitely, you know, I see them being integrated to a lot of different places um, as time goes on. So the growth of EV um, companies or the growth of EV cars um, is basically here. Lots of different models are coming out. Um, and then also it says right here, the federal tax credit is back so you can claim yours. And I expect to see more of those coming out uh, with this Biden presidency. So, you know, essentially you could like double your money. I feel like if you get one of these charging stations and then, you know, start to um, have charging on your own, um, you get the tax credit as well. And then you have people who can use the charging station. So overall, I really like the company. Um, I think it's uh, very revolutionary what they're doing and going to be a seamless entry into uh, the world of EV. Drop a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think of ChargePoint. Um, where do you think you see the company going? Uh, for target price, um, it's at $39.90 before the merger. Uh, in my personal opinion, I think this stock can get well into, I would say, a $100 strike price uh, that I'm going to say uh, after this merger. Um, and that's just basically given on how EVs operate. Um, now, I am not the perfect trader, uh, so take that with a grain of salt. It is not, you know, the end-all, be-all strike price. But I do believe once it goes public um, and that merger is complete, $100 is not uncommon to see uh, a company like this with an already existing infrastructure throughout the U.S. Um, and potentially Europe to go um, and go to $100 per share. So, that's my target price. I believe it can reach that. Um, and time frame wise, I would have to say by the end of 2021. So going into 20, 2022, um, that's kind of my frame of reference on what I would think um, 
this switchback merger with uh, ChargePoint could go to. Uh, but drop a comment down below. Tell me where you guys think um, this will go after its merger. And do you think Blink is better or ChargePoint is better? Also, make sure you go at the new channel, Mark Marauder Show. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Oh,